Volunteers from all over the world are welcome to assist in the day-to-day -day activities. These activities include feeding the animals, maintenance, assisting in the research program, medical help, and many more. Their whole focus is catch, rehabilitate, and where they can, release, which I think is completely awesome and admirable. The best part probably would be we were able to help with the mobilisation of with some of the big cats and being able to be a part of that experience and learning how like darting works and seeing it done. Probably the first leopard that we moved for Osland, like doing the ultrasound and I don't know, getting, being that close to a leopard for the first time. So dating the first leopard um, and I got to give her an injection so that was really cool. Releasing the leopard, the brown hyena and the baboon, I think seeing them go back into their natural habitat was just the most incredible experience anybody could ever wish for. I think releasing the leopard into the national park, that was insane. Like, that's just like, when are you ever going to see that in your life? A lot of the stuff that we've done here, you don't get the opportunity to do back home until you're almost fully qualified. You kind of get hands-on experience straight away and you're learning as you go. And I find learning by doing is a lot better than just learning by the books. Uh, the one thing I'd change, I'd probably, um, I'd like to stay here longer, I think, because I've been here three weeks and it's been great, but I feel like the longer you're here, the more you see and the better it's, it is. Enjoy, the, enjoy the, t the time you have because it can be gone so fast. Keep an open mind. And it's like everyone's so lovely here because there's good people everywhere and if you need help you can just ask. Just get comfortable being uncomfortable. To come to Africa, it's really a beautiful country where people are amazing and they're nice and they'll welcome you with open arms. 